I've roped my wife into making a piece of content even though we're away on our 25th wedding anniversary here in America, in Las Vegas. However, when we think about wiring in the UK, it's always what happens in the bathroom that intrigues us. So let's have a look what's going on in here. Straight away, don't we? We get completely anxious about the closeness of the socket outlet, or as they like to call it in America, the receptacle is to the water source. And of course, I've just played devil's advocate by dropping the hairdryer that was provided with us into the sink area. It could be easily done. However, when we look at the adapters that we bring over from the UK, we seem to believe there are no priority to the equipment that's plugged in here because there's just two pins on most of this stuff. This is double insulated, so it doesn't require a connection to the protective conductor. But when we get our adapters out, we look at the line and neutral pin and discover they're both exactly the same. So we presume it must be the same in America for their two pins. So when we pull this out, we can clearly see two pins here, but there's a subtle difference. One of them is a different shape slightly to the other one, meaning that these do have polarity, therefore can only be put into the receptacle, socket outlet, in the correct way. So if I plug it into here, it goes in comfortably, but if I was to take it out and think to myself, I'll just spin it around and try and get it in, even though there's no earth pin to locate, it won't enter the actual outlet itself. So it has got polarity. Now you're thinking about these ones, what polarizes the ones from the UK, our adapters, is the actual earth pin here. So by getting the earth pin in the correct position, it obviously goes into the receptacle and we can't obviously put it in another direction. Also, what's incredibly interesting about these is for selectivity here at this hotel, they won't want us plugging stuff in and tripping an RCD somewhere down circuit. So they've actually built the RCDs into each of the outlets. So by pressing the test button, it suggests you should press it every month, and I'm sure it happens here in the United States of America. You can see it trip off, and the LED or indicator lamp there that is green will obviously disappear. And when you reset it, you can see it flick to red and then to green as it comes back on. Will we be moving in the UK? I know we've cut a half a meter off recently from three meters to 2.5, where we can have our standard BS 1363 socket outlets in the UK. Are we gonna be moving more towards what is set out in America and Europe with a position of their sockets, or in this case, receptacles, in locations such as sink areas? I saw one in a sports bar where the socket outlet was directly behind the tap. He couldn't get any closer to the water source. Then we've got our shower. We're used to zones within bathrooms here in the UK, but I wonder what they're thinking about here. Imagine we're in the shower, having a lovely little time ourselves, and we walk out. And just as we walk out, we wanna grab that light switch. And as we grab that light switch, it is inside the bathroom. It is a switch. It's not what we're used to in the UK. We're used to pull cords, or we're used to switches being outside of the bathroom, therefore beyond the door, but not in this case. It's different across Europe, it's different across America. I'd love your thoughts in the comments, but if you wanna know more about UK bathrooms, check out the playlist just here on where we can put our kit.